Good evening, I'm Eden Shackle. And I'm Calvin Hughes, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Friday night. Can I see him? Can I see him? And that's whatever he said today, he's deceased. A heartbroken mother sharing her pain on the stand today, recalling the moments she was told her three-year-old boy was gone. This all for the trial of Annalise Osceola, the stepmother charged with manslaughter and lying to police. Back in 2015, the toddler, Isaiah, disappeared from his Hollywood home, later found bruised, battered, and hidden in a trash bag. Before his death, there was reportedly already a history of abuse in the family. Oh. It's not going right. A shocking video here out of North Miami showing a bright line train slamming into a car sitting on the tracks. This happened in the area of Northeast 141st Street and Biscayne Boulevard this afternoon. Crews quickly cleared that scene and North Miami police are now investigating why this empty blue Honda was left at the crossing in the first place. No injuries were reported. A man was murdered in southwest Miami-Dade overnight and the suspected killer who was shot him was then killed by police. Police say Donovan Adrian Watson randomly shot and killed the victim at random at an apartment complex. And according to authorities, Watson then barricaded himself. Sky 10 flew over the scene showing officials and tactical crew on site. Police say negotiators were trying to talk to the 25 year old, but he began to open fire. Officers returned fire, killing Watson. No officers were hurt. And only on Local 10 tonight, more victims are coming forward in the case of a man who is accused of drugging and raping women in his posh Miami Beach condo. A fifth victim came forward after she told Miami Beach police that she was sexually assaulted by 41-year-old biochemist Jeremy Bittner. Police reports say that the fifth victim, whose initials are DM, was drugged and raped three times. Bittner remains in custody with no bond. And remember, as breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. You can always go to our website for more information, local10.com. Be safe out there and have a good weekend. See you back on Monday.